through the ropes and underrated a great heavyweight champion of the world, the World Boxing Council champion. He has been for nearly five years. 15th title defense, Angelo Dundee, and doesn't he look sharp? He sure does. He's a very fine young man, and he really struggled through the Muhammad Ali mystique, and he's really coming to try to come on to his own. Hey, man, he's undefeated. Undefeated heavyweight champion of the world. I think he's starting to realize that Larry Holmes is something special. And Tim Witherspoon, uh, the eight-year younger heavyweight contender in the left corner, only 15 professional fights. Larry Holmes' 15th title defense. How can it happen? We're the number three contender. That's what makes boxing the heavyweight division. One punch from a big guy can change the whole complexion of any fight. This, this fight to me is not over till it's finished over. And Tim Witherspoon in 15 victories undefeated has scored 11 knockouts. We'll be back with the action following this. And here we go. Presenting to you the challenger on my right. Wearing white trunks with a black trim. Hailing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in tonight at 219 pounds. The number three contender. He has remained undefeated, scoring 11 knockouts in 15 straight wins. And he has earned the name of Terrible Tim Witherspoon. He weighs in a trim and ready 213 pounds. A champion that has done everything asked of him. He has remained undefeated with 30 knockouts and 42 straight wins. Here he is, the undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Larry From the challenge. Any questions for Mr. Fudge? No From the champion. All right, protect yourself at all times. Let's get it on. <laughs> get it on, Mills Lane, who also refereed the Cooney Holmes fight here in Las Vegas. Tail of the tape, eight years younger, Tim Witherspoon. Same height, uh, six and a half pull in the weights. The reach difference could be a factor, four inches. Fist size, well, Holmes is a big man. In there at 213 pounds, Angelo Dundee, that's a good weight for the champ. Great weight, but I was watching Tim Witherspoon. He's not awed, and he kept saying famous words, but Muhammad said the same thing to Sonny Liston. I got you. And, and Tim is not being intimidated by Look at him black Larry those Holmes. left jabs. Beautifully done, and the defense is important, especially from the jab. Well, he's a well-taught young man. That Slim Jim Robinson is a heck of a trainer. He's been schooling him for a long time. Witherspoon being the aggressor here. He's in the white trunks with the black stripes. Holmes in his Holmes red, as he calls it. Chris, you know, reach is a very deceptive thing. It's the way you put your feet into the pocket between the other guy's two feet. Uh, reach is deceptive. It's the way you plant your punch. So the reach differentiation is nothing. All right, how are these two heavyweights doing with that uh, front foot? Well, the front foot's right in there. And yes, Tim, it is. And Tim Witherspoon is slipping, slipping in and letting the jab go. You call that a slip jab. Scheduled for 12 rounds, the WBC rules. These are 8-ounce gloves. 10-point must, three judges. The referee, a new thing, safety valve, can give a standing eight count if he desires. Oh, yes, and I, I feel a little good about it. I talked to Suleiman, and standing eight count, if the guy's against the ropes, they take him away from the ropes to do the count. Larry's going for it all. Obviously, with those combination punches, Stephanie in the left hook, and Holmes has proven his defense over the last 14 title defenses. When he has been in trouble, Angelo, he's always had that great condition, ability, oh, he heart came, to come back. He came back something tremendously from a lot of fights. Got, looked like he couldn't get up anymore. Came up with the right uppercut. That won the Weaver fight. 
slipping inside to avoid those heavy punches thrown by the champion Larry Holmes was Tim Witherspoon of Philadelphia attended Lincoln University in Missouri for a year said tough going he's got a brother light heavyweight undefeated in nine that was partially blocked Tim's got a very unique way of blocking punches he keeps that right hand of his planted on the left side of his jaw, a la Sugar Ray Robinson. Ray Robinson used to do that all the time and intimidate you. Your Sugar Ray Leonard wasn't bad. All right, two heavyweights here in the first round, trying to decide who's gonna take charge. Temperature now about 70 degrees. Sun has been out a long time. Las Vegas time, 9.25. We have less than 25 seconds remaining in round one. I know Tim Witherspoon's very happy to be fighting the guy from the book. He said he had all kinds of trouble with Mr. Snipes because the way he ran away in his awkwardness. Witherspoon, who has not had a fight in a little uh, over a year because of an injury to the jaw and an abscessed wisdom tooth, it was Snipes that he beat. All right. He is a quiet, friendly. 25-year-old heavyweight from Philadelphia. He's having a good time. That's Eddie Alano, and there is Slim Jim Robinson on the left. Pretty good fighter in his own right. Great one. You mean he put his left leg up, uh, right, uh, left leg up off the floor? Okay, he's right hand over here, Timmy. Right. Okay. All right. Put a little bit more pressure on him. Keep him running from you. He rolled underneath the right hand, Tim. Next time you do it, go over top of your left hook. All right? I wish you'd say about these out there. Come on. I got him up You got it, Eddie? All right? You're rolling, okay? You're rolling your punch at him, okay? Right on the back. Minimum amount of talking, but right to the point for the young heavyweight contender. Okay? All right? Very good job being done. Come on now. And of course, your old nemesis Eddie Futch in uh, Murray Holmes' corner, not saying too much because the champion, a veteran of 42 fights, winning them all, pretty much at this point knows what to do. There again, Witherspoon blocking the punches, coming back with a right of his own. Oh, listen to those punches. It's a real good boxing match, really. They're trying to outsmart each other right now. Larry's trying to suck him in for a right-hand counter. He's moving that, waving that left hand in front of his face. But he's definitely looking to hit him with a right hand. Going to the body now is Witherspoon. He looks so confident. Talking with him, he was so determined. Had some animosity toward the champion because of a couple of incidents here at the Dunes. point early in round two he is not in awe of the champ. No he's not. He's a well conditioned young man. He's, he's been well taught. And he's doing the right thing. He's taking it to Larry, trying to keep him off balance. The old the old story is you get those guys with those the oldish type of fighters, the old timer, you back them up, you take their the mobility away from them. End of the body with the right hand, and the one to the left was partially blocked. Round two, scheduled for 12. Final bout on this unique boxing doubleheader in Las Vegas. Beautiful shot by, by Witherspoon. Yes. Larry tried to counter with a right hand uppercut. He's going to see that more often if Witherspoon keeps throwing that right hand to the body. He's going to get countered with a right uppercut. Larry in a lackluster performance against Lucian Rodriguez in a coming home championship bout. Looks much better tonight. This is the worry about Larry, because, you know, you got to get yourself physically and mentally up for guys. You know, and he, he had a lackluster fight against uh, Lucian Rodriguez, but here he is against a guy, 15 fights. So he must have said to himself, how could he lick me? Larry moving forward a little bit more now. Trying with the combination, and again, caught in the arms or the gloves. A good idea to drop that left hand Witherspoon. <laughs> well, he's trying to suck. He's trying to sneak in a right hand counter himself. He's looking for Larry to throw a right hand at him. He's a well fought young man. See him block the right hand with an elbow right yes. there. Less than 30 seconds remaining in round two. There have been no knockdowns. Neither fighter is marked. Both have landed effective punches. Beautiful boxing exhibition here. 
I love this. This is what you call pure boxing. This is absolutely a picture book almost. Cabell in five. Good right hand. Not quite flush. All right, as they take that one-minute rest, let's go to Don Chevrier. All right, Chris, and Mike Weaver is with me here at ringside. Mike, did you know the two judges who called the fight even, your fight, also called the 15th round even. If they had gone the other way for you, you would have won it. Yes, I felt that I wouldn't have fight because I did all the fighting and the pressure. Dokes did all the running and the holding and the thumbing and the hitting low. You know, I felt I wouldn't fight. How do you feel when he says he won't fight you again? Well, I, 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 I expected it because he knew he didn't win the fight. He know I gave him a tough fight of his career, and he know he don't want to take the chance to fight me again. So I, I, I don't expect him to give me a rematch. I'm going to have to fight and hope I get one from somebody. A lot of us at ringside thought you won. You obviously felt you won as well. Yes, I, I felt I won. But some, somehow I seem to cannot beat the system. Get stuff sometimes. You caught your heart out. Yeah. All right, let's go back to Chris now. Witherspoon and Holt. <laughs> Thank you, Mike and Don. Now, round three of a scheduled 12-round heavyweight championship bout. On the right, in the white trunks with the black trim, and with red, Larry Holmes, Tim Witherspoon. Witherspoon is game as they come. I, I know that Tim Witherspoon is trying to take the legs out from Larry Holmes because those legs have been traveling for a long, long time. So what he's trying to do is take the legs out from under him and be able to cut him off and hit him some good punches. A decided underdog is Witherspoon there on the left. I've heard he was a 7-1 to one underdog, and I remember in 64 being with you in Miami calling a fight. A 22-year-old named Cassius Clay against Sonny Liston was 7-1, to one, and he won. That's correct, and, and, and Muhammad, Muhammad said the same thing that this kid said. I got you in the middle of the ring. At that time, uh, Muhammad had won 19 bouts undefeated. He was 22 years old. Tim Witherspoon has won 15 undefeated and is 25. So in championship heavyweight boxing, anything can happen. And Chris, you got to remember one thing. A 12-round route is better for Witherspoon because he's been to 10-round route. But two more rounds is not going to bother him physically or psychologically. In only 15 fights, Witherspoon has gone 10 rounds twice in his career, but now asked to go 12. There's that Holmes left jab. Can't be punishing. Only thing is not landing. Witherspoon is popping his good with that right. He's got Larry confused with that right hand to the side. Cut on the ear, that right hand thrown by the champion. Ooh, a body punch dug into the side. Larry's trying to hit him a right hand counter. The danger with that, Chris, is that he's going to get hit with a left hook counter himself from Witherspoon. With a minute to go, Angelo Dundee, uh, is it what you thought it would be? Yes, I thought this fight going to be a dangerous you fight. You told him it was going to go Again to the left side of Holmes' body. I knew, I knew tonight was going to be an excellent night of boxing all the way. This has been proven that way. See that double step that Witherspoon gave? We call it a stutter step. He knocks you off balance with it. This is youth. That's reflex. Much faster reflexes than Larry Holmes. And for the first time, with 18 seconds to go in the third round, Witherspoon caught successive stiff jabs. Can't, can't get lax. He walked right into that right hand. Partial uppercut. But Camus comes right back. Smothering Holmes. Let's go to Larry Holmes' corner. Eddie Futch, Bill Prezant, and the entourage comes in. Jake Holmes. Listen to these fans. Witherspoon said something to yeah, the they, champion. He said, you want to continue? Let's go. <laughs> and Larry says, come on. He said, OK. Right about with what's going on. There he is, 33-year-old Larry Holmes, who's indicated that this will be the last year.
just not saying much, and when they do, it's very soft. It's always a soft-spoken corner. Larry Holmes has to be very careful. He can't let emotion take hold here. Professionalism's got to take hold because otherwise he's going to wind up taking some real good shots from this kid who took Larry's right hand very well. Now they're in the middle of the ring. Under the bright lights before thousands of boxing fans. Holmes now getting more set. A little more in a pu really punchy yeah, he, position. Yeah, he's just planting his feet. He's looking to get yeah. this kid out of there. Might be a mistake. He's got to bounce. He's got to move. He's got to set this kid up. He's got some great moves. Slim Jim Robinson is a well groomed teacher of fighting because he was so slick, nobody would fight the sucker because nobody could hit him. Mike Russman found that out. All right. Witherspoon, does he remind you of any uh, heavyweight from the past, Angelo? Well, I tell you, he reminds me a little bit about a young Ken Norton, the way he plants his foot, slips, plenty of body motion, a complete fighter. I mean, I'm impressed, and I was impressed before the fight. He's a baby-faced heavyweight. I mean, I'll tell you, Whistler got a little bit of Archie Moore in him, too, but he, yes. he crossed his arms in front of him. He's got Larry messed up with this. Larry's got to watch himself with this kick, but this kid's going to nail him. What a brilliant job, the referee, Mills Lane, the district attorney of Marshall County in Nevada, is doing in this bout. Letting them work, letting them go, and that's the way it should be. That's two points for us little guys, Chris. Does a good job for a little guy. I mean, he's strong and dictates the pace of the fight. Larry trying to unload that right-hand lead. Measure it with the left. Witherspoon just keeps crossing that right hand above his face. Counters with a left hook. This battle in the rope square in Las Vegas with a minute to go in round four. Witherspoon's going to have to find out. He's going to have to slip away from that right hand of Larry. He's got to go to the right of Larry to wait from that right-hand counter. They're staying with it in range at all times. Both of them. And again, Angelo, as you said, he walked right into that right. Yes, he's got to move over to the right side so he would get countered. But Larry's a great right-hand counterpunch. And his are damaging punches. Witherspoon got a little damage over his left side, Chris. Yes. Larry's knockouts and title defensive is, uh, usually come in later rounds. He, uh, his earliest was in a third round over Leon Spinks in Detroit. So right now, four rounds have been completed with eight to go. Comfortable temperatures as we go to a lovely lady, Leandra Riley. Muhammad Ali, it looks like Larry Holmes is getting a little bit of a challenge. Do you agree? Well, yes, Tim is much better than I thought he was. He's got a reach. He's as tall as Holmes. He has no fear, no respect for his punches. Holmes' his best punch is a left jab. He's blocking and standing close. He's got a reach itself. He can present a problem in later rounds. And I would almost make a prediction that the way it looks now, Holmes don't knock him out. Tim will win on decision. Thank you very much, Muhammad Ali. Tim, by no, decision. No doubt possibly. thinking of 20 years ago, Muhammad Ali. We're going to replay a couple of jabs thrown by Larry Holmes, Angelo. There's one. There's another one. Yeah, Slim Jim Robinson complained to the referee, Miles Lane, and told him that he's thumbing Tim Witherspoon. I think that's a mark of a good trainer second, making the referee aware there's something going on in there. That's right. It's a little psyching. It's getting your best hold, and that's what you have to do when the big men are fighting. Throw the kitchen sink if you have to. Anything. Grab the guy's leg. <laughs> Step on his shoes. Oh. What pretty combinations. Yeah, that was a four-punch combination. The last right hand got in. Holmes didn't like that shot to the belly. Comes back with a good right hand. I don't no. think I don't think anybody likes it to the belly. Mills Lane uh, asserting his authority. When they break, break. He 
Larry's talking to Tim Witherspoon. He said, what are you doing that for? So there's a lot of metal, metal maneuvering in there also. Angelo had detected an abrasion in the left corner of Tim Witherspoon's yes. eye. No blood flowing, but an abrasion, a bruise. That could be created by a, by a thumb. It could be a punch. It could be a lot of things. It could be a little bit of an elbow because the eyelid is puffed. We're in the fifth round, scheduled for 12. Earlier, Michael Dokes retained his WBA World Heavyweight Championship. A draw against Mike Weaver. First time I ever saw Larry Holmes look in his corner because they're talking to Larry. And, he's, and he, I don't know why he's looking at the corner. That's a no-no because you can get nailed a shot when you look at your corner. Partially blocked all those shots. And the more punches you throw, Angelo, the more arm worry you can get as we look ahead in a scheduled 12 rounder. Larry's concerned about this youngster's style, though. He's having problems with it, and he's taking four punch combinations to land. At 2, 19 and a half, Tim Witherspoon from Philadelphia on the right. a contender that believes youth and hunger will overcome in this championship bout. Well, he's doing what he has to do. He's taking him to the champion, and he's trying to nail him with some punches, and he's fighting the right kind of a fight, because when you fight for a title, you got to give it. And Larry Holmes' left side, just above the belt, starting to uh, get bruised, because that's where Witherspoon has uh, leveled a lot of his right hands. Look at that move. Holmes comes to the right, and Witherspoon comes to his that left. offsets him. Yes. He probably liked the corner, like here. All right, the end of round five, and a surprising performance by the undefeated contender from Philadelphia, Tim Witherspoon. Chris, you're going to see a lot more of what uh, Tim Witherspoon just did. He's a southpaw, and he's going to start switching and let his, his uh, southpaw stance come into play. Larry Holmes and Tim Witherspoon, uh, another part of the Crown Affair. Looking back now at some combinations by the champion, Larry Holmes. Here they are. One, two, three, four. Punch combination to the right. The rest right hand got in. Yes. And there he is, perspiring freely here under the lights at the dunes. Larry Holmes worried me that last round. He stood up for quite a while before he sat down. A mark that those body shots are definitely getting to him. Uh -huh. Now they're ready for round six. Mills Lane tells them to stay back near the corner. Now they come out near the center of the ring. They've used a lot of it. Witherspoon on the attack. They really gave Larry Holmes a bath in that uh, corner because his trunks are completely soaked and his body's completely soaked, and he's dripping pretty good. Witherspoon looks as though he's completely dried out. Great training coming into this bout by Jim Robinson. Ooh, he tried Great right hand. Shot. He missed a great right hand. We're in the sixth round, and here you see the average rounds per fight. Holmes, an average of seven. Witherspoon, an average of 4.8. They're begging Larry to let that right hand go when two this spoon comes in. But that right hand count has worked very good for Larry Holmes. There's the jab that Larry Holmes is famous for. And of course, as you always point out, Angelo, that's the punch that sets up everything else. And again, digging that right to the body. Oh. who conditioned himself superbly for this bout. There's the jab starting to work. Another one. Larry Holmes may have come in light, may have trained very hard. Very, you got to be very careful, but an older guy, you can't over-drain train yourself because this way you lose all your strength. Yes, 
Uh, what training at 33 years of age? Well, Chris, you know what you got to do? You got to bide your time. You know, you got to say it's like the old bull and the young bull. Take your time. Don't be in no hurry because you got to get your condition and contain it. You can't train like a 21-year-old kid or a 24-year-old kid can. You got to abide your training. Take a day off now and then because you can definitely leave it. You got to save it for the fight. Holmes trying to drop that right hand with the jabs, trying to put together combinations, but. In most cases, always not within range. Round six, we're looking at right now. Another right to the body by Witherspoon. Larry's giving him a dose of his own medicine. He's left the right hand going to the body. Another shot to the ear. Larry's used the Muhammad Ali trick, opening up his glove to keep the guy's head off to the side. I like one trait of Tim Witherspoon. He keeps that chin chucked in. Keeps that target not exposed, fully exposed. Whereas Larry, his chin is right out there. Okay. Halfway. Okay. Go to the corner of Tim Witherspoon. Four brothers, three sisters, a big family. You're okay, Timmy, but you just gotta punch at him a little bit more, okay? Well, I'm punching at him up. You wanna win this here fight, okay? All right, if it goes with distance, Timmy, you gotta punch at him more than you're punching at him, all right? Going down the right. You can't, you can't fight him seven. Going to the seventh round now, okay? You can't fight him even up, Tim. Okay. You gotta take this away from him. Take it from him. Take this gentleman this away from him. You gotta fight him. Don't show him no respect. That's right. Don't show him no respect. Hands up. Come on, Tim. Come on, you push it. Push it, Tim. I'm impressed by the alertness of the contender, Witherspoon, listening to everything that Robinson is telling him. Some good advice as we replay. There's the left of the body, a right cut on the ear of the champion. Backs up and then gets reset again as we get set for the seventh round. What's some con concern in Larry Holmes' corner about his side bothering him? And, the, and they had to go right to work on it. Snapping away from that long right hand, still getting some of it, got a good step left jab right there, comes back with one of his own. Very interesting contest. I'm enjoying the maneuvering, uh, the way that they're trying to outsmart each other. And once see that reach, he knows how this one out jabs Larry once in a while, because you get in the position. Again to the body in this manly art of self-defense. Oh. Chris, you see what I mean about youth? With this one's a shade quicker than uh, Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes is missing his counters in several spots. You know, we point out that Witherspoon is putting on a good show against the champion. Only 15 fights, but won them all. He had seven amateur bouts. He won six and lost one. Throwing great punches. He's really doing some, some things in there that Larry hasn't seen in a long time. And that body is taking a tremendous beating. That was right on the solar plexus, that left hand. Really, really big, strong young man, Mr. Witherspoon. Round seven. I tell you, Larry is fighting right now for survival. Just because this kid has given him everything. Larry catching punches that he normally would not. And missing with combinations that he normally lands. in 42 fights. His hands full here in the seventh round with about a minute to go. Witherspoon taking everything that the champion comes back with, including that right hand. Sort of rolling away from the punches. Witherspoon got hurt with a right hand on top of the head, Chris. He reacted where he got a little hurt. We've got to be very, very careful. Another shot like that will put him down. And now he's getting much too close. Getting much too close to the champion. With a spook, could have got very well arm weary. Well, he's looking for one shot now, which is a mistake. It Bring it to me, says Witherspoon. What a battle here. 30 seconds to go in the seventh round. What a night. The crown affair in Las Vegas. Couldn't ask for anything more. Great fight. Contrasting styles, youth versus uh, the venerable Larry Holmes. Use that word, Grant.
carnival, Chris. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Larry Holmes now getting more right hands through. More solid punches, finding the range. He is upset. He is not completely satisfied with his performance. Look at that determination on this 33-year-old's face. Witherspoon. Let's look back. There is the right hand. And that was flushing on the top of the head. The champion comes back with his right. Right hand count. Announcing fans. Announcing And all those punches hurt. Angelo, uh, how are you scoring the fight? I'm I got not, it even. I'm not keeping score. This is a very <laughs> close fight. Uh, I think it's up for grabs. I think Witherspoon. I think Larry actually is fighting for survival. But Witherspoon is really putting him to the test now. Just Witherspoon has all the confidence in the world. I want him. I want him. And here he can have him in the eighth round. The champion Larry Holmes. On the far side of the ring, Witherspoon, his back to us, both six feet, three inches tall. Their first meeting, first fight for Witherspoon, and I'm really surprised in, in a year. Now, Chris, we have a match up here where you have aggression. Guy taking it to a guy, you know, making the fight, he should be getting the point. But, you know, we had a little something like that in Weaver. So we don't know, what, you know, which way to go, so I'm a little hesitant. But I would say this fight is up for grabs. I think this one's got Three American judges are scoring it on the 10-point must. The referee, Mills Lane, does not score. And what a great job he is doing, allowing these two heavyweights to fire away at will. The mark of a great referee, Chris, is when you don't see him. Those guys that make themselves presentable, the bothering, badgering fighters, they, they don't make good referees. That's a good referee. He's letting the action take speak for itself. And those others I don't mind talking about when they do a bad job. So important. 11 knockouts for Witherspoon, Larry Holmes. His 42 victories has 30 knockouts. Witherspoon's going there you back see the ratio. Look at that. How Witherspoon's even. going back to the slip and the sliding routine, which is great. And his quickness is really taking advantage of Larry Holmes. Halfway point now, round eight, a schedule for 12. I guess terrible, Tim, is terrible, Chris. It's terribly good. Terribly good, is right. <laughs> All hey. beautifully inside that long right hand. There goes the southpaw switch, you know? Yes. But Larry was smart enough to push him down with his hand. He's pushing on him. All those little tricks add up experience. Credit must go to the teachers of both fighters. Yes. It's uh, almost a, a lesson in what should be done in the ring. Can't do better than clutch. Slowing the pace down just a little bit here in the final 30 seconds of round eight. There have been no knockdowns, only abrasion in the left corner of Witherspoon's eye. There goes the southpaw stance. You catch it, Chris? Mm -hmm. Very smooth. I think he'll be doing a lot more of that because he's working on Larry, switching southpaw. Obviously, Larry hasn't fought that many southpaws. Obviously, Witherspoon showing us he can take a punch. This will be a much-needed one-minute rest because we've just passed round eight. That means four to go here in the second part of a unprecedented World Heavyweight Championship doubleheader. Dokes on a draw, retaining his title against Mike Weaver, and now Witherspoon, the number three contender, going against the world champion of the WBC, Larry Holmes. And that is an overview scene, a beautiful shot here in Las Vegas. Round nine coming up. You take that title from him, okay? You gotta punch more like you did in the eighth round. Okay. Put the pressure right? on. Okay. Put the pressure on. Okay. Don't lay outside. Lay outside and shoot too long. Lay outside and shoot too long, Tim. Get all that fresh air. Okay? Fresh air. 
Oh, the great cut man, Eddie Aliano, doing a very useful job. Get on Get on You notice how he acknowledges Slim Jim Robinson? What a what a gentleman. They have great respect for each other. You know, you gotta appreciate that because it's teamwork. You work together, you scheme, you, you, you make your move, you're thinking, and you're one person, you're a blend. This is such an interesting bout. Strategy so well planned by both corners that you almost forget to score the fight. Now he's got Holmes moving. Larry got himself bad, got a bath in the corner again. Larry got hurt with that right yes, hand. Yes, he did. On the side of the head. Larry's hurt. Yes, he is. He's hurt. He's hurt now. We're in the ninth round. The underdog, Witherspoon. But in the past, when he's been hurt, he's blinking his eyes no, now. Look at him. Definitely a hurt he fighter. He's hurt. Witherspoon. Witherspoon has definitely got the guy. All he got to do is take his time. He's got Larry home hurt in bad, bad shape. And we still have a couple of minutes to go here in the ninth round. Yeah, all this has got to do is be with a spoon. Good body shot to made him wince. Yes. A body shot to take in their toe, Chris. A left hook that caught Holmes, unguarded. Coming back with a short right hand. That must have hurt Witherspoon, too, because he covered up. Oh, no, great right hand. Another one. Holmes in trouble. Great right hand. Larry Holmes is hurt. He's out of it. Yes, he he's is. out of it. Oh, he's got to go. He's out of it. Larry he's Holmes. Of it. We have a minute. One more, he's going to go down. He's out of it. But the heart of a champion trying to fight back. One minute to go. Chris, you said it so well. The mark of a champion. And believe me, there's nothing that. there. There's nothing there. He's got a big mouse under his right eye. Holmes fighting with the courage of a winner of 42 straight. Look at this bombing now by a hurt champion. This is, this is survival of the fittest in the purest kind. 35 seconds counted. Will Holmes get off the hook? You cannot be saved by the bell, except in the last round. But look at that condition. together since way back when and I don't know when there was a more interesting ninth round in any heavyweight championship bout. There is one of the punches that got the champion in trouble. He immediately went into that clinch to collect himself. Witherspoon with another on the left. What an attack. Witherspoon was sort of looking back what he thought was his corner as he just keeps throwing one-twos. And look, Larry, sucking it up, taking it all out. Great, great fighter. Great fighter, whatever happens in this fight. Seven to one underdog, Tim Witherspoon. The big guys you never know. All right, this is round 10. Three rounds to go. Can the older man last? Can Witherspoon keep his cool? And not get over anxious, make too many mistakes to be knocked out by the champion. Larry Holmes did something and come out boxing. Magnificent. Larry Holmes very much at home in Las Vegas. Eight title defenses of his 15 right here in this city. So he loves the desert. Now wisely he's starting to do a little lateral movement. He still gets caught. Not damaging punches, but in the eyes of the three judges, if they're doing a good job, they score. 
history of Witherspoon as a young kid, he's a tire in a late round. He showed me in the last round he was tired. So Larry's trying to chuck him into a shot by bouncing, moving, and, and really hitting him with a good punch. Is there an upset in the making? As we are in round 10. Tremendous, tremendous excitement. Two of the best punches that Holmes has thrown in a while. Look at him, now he's up on his toes and moving around, which is uh, one of the uh, styles of Holmes, the champion. Good mouse under the right eye of Holmes. Swollen area with a minute and 30 to go. Larry's having trouble keeping his mouthpiece. And Larry's having trouble with his mobility. But he's fighting the right way. Now he's starting to get flat footed again. Looking at that jab. A probing weapon. Good defensive weapon as well as an offensive one. Witherspoon's going back to the slick style again. He's very wise doing that, because otherwise he'll get hit on the chin himself. Witherspoon, who grew up in South Philadelphia. All Pennsylvania battle with Larry from Easton. South Philadelphia, that's in my hometown. I know. <laughs> the Dundees. That's right. We're in round 10. Coming up to the one minute mark of this round with two then to go. And now it's Witherspoon flicking that jab. Woo! What a move! Oh. What a move he just did! Look at the southpaw. Southpaw, yeah. Don't get too cocky. No, no. But he's got the movement. He's got the movement. And that movement is causing the champion a mess. That and perhaps fatigue. Right. They have to be tired, Angelo. Great fight. What do you say to Larry Holmes now? Larry got to get it together. You got to start taking taking the plate of this kid. I'll box him. I'll smart him with that left hand. I know Eddie wants to settle him down. It's a tough thing, but Eddie don't know how much this fight he's got left. He went there. Pick him up off this time. Pick him up off his name. Rub his name. Who knows? Knock him out. Come on. Who knows? Come on. Big heart. Who knows? Okay. Keep coming, Terry. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. That is not good. Push it. Push it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Watch and replay. Witherspoon connecting with that left. Keeps throwing the punches, keeping the champion off balance. And now, round 11. One to go after this, Angelo. And what you tell your guy in the corner, he's hey, man, only six minutes. Go get it. It's the Big Apple. I have it scored so close that we're round 11. I'm going to give up and enjoy the fight with our viewers. No knockdowns. Yet one of the most action-packed World Heavyweight Championship fights we've seen. Two undefeated fighters. 15 fights, Witherspoon with his back to us, and 42 for Holmes. Well, I guess everybody has said that Witherspoon didn't belong here. I think they're making, they're, they're wondering why. Why is he in there? He's in there because he's a good fighter. Excellent fighter. And now that swollen area under the right eye of Larry Holmes. It is not impairing his vision. That was a pretty good left hook thrown by the champion. Honestly, that right hand was very, very low, lower than normal, and it got through. Those punches on the forehead. Again on the ear. And a left hook to the ear of Holmes. Great left hook. That's what he is, the converted softball. See it? Right there. Bam. Scoring again. He's utilizing, utilizing that left hook real well. Chuck Hassett, Herb Santos, and Chuck Maker are the three judges scoring this bout. Heard him with a right hook. A minute and 30 to go in the next to the last round of this championship. Holmes now bending at the waist. 
looking uh, for an opening at a one-two, but that jab is right in his face by Witherspoon. That southpaw style, that southpaw style is really driving Larry crazy. If, if Witherspoon goes southpaw completely, he'll have Larry all over the place. Perhaps he'll save that for the 12th and final round. A minute to go, and this is the 11th. Larry's having trouble holding his mouthpiece. There was a good right hand by Holmes. Countered the right hand of Witherspoon. Witherspoon's looking to nail him with a good shot. He's slipping. Witherspoon and all his people figured that Holmes, the champion, was right to be taken. See the difference in jabbing? Witherspoon's beating him with a jab. Remember I told you reach? Is a phony barometer. It's the way you got your feet in there, the way you set your jab up. Less than half a minute is we will have then one round to go, and it could very well be the deciding round. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Two good rights by Larry Holmes. And he has proven again tonight that when hurt, he has the ability to come back. Now, that last one-minute rest period. And Larry, well, now he's going to be seated in the corner. Eddie Futch is talking. Last round, last round. It's good you make your fighter a parent of the last round. Everybody's worried about Winspoon going, you know, going 15 instead of 12. It was the best for Winspoon. Now it's better for Larry, or Larry has really had it. He's out of gas. Larry, who's gone 10 rounds three times, 15 rounds three times, 12 rounds three, 11 three, whereas Witherspoon, 10 rounds twice. So he is in new territory. He's in outer space of boxing now, having survived 11. All right. Holmes scoring there. He's with his back to us, and Witherspoon countering back with a left hook. Now, three minutes to go. Here it is. Watch. Kim Witherspoon, a very confident young man. He's going to let it all hang out. But he's got to fight his regular style like he's been fighting. Don't be a club fighter. Stick, move, slide. Be Witherspoon. Chris, we can't detract about Larry Holmes giving everybody a shot. That's why I admire about the guy. He has fought them all, every challenge, every test. Trevor Burbick, Leon Spinks, Ronaldo Snipes, Jerry Cooney, Tex Cobb, Lucian Rodriguez, his most recent fights. It was here in Las Vegas that he won his championship in 1978 of June. And here he is in Las Vegas tonight, 15th title defense, hoping to retain it. Witherspoon hoping to take it away. There you go. I'll tell you, he's got South Fork jab, box, right hand box, everything. Two minutes to go in this yeah. fight. Listen to this crowd. He really did a heck of a move. Come on, he says. Come on, he says to home. Taunting the champion, and he does. A right hand. Don't drop those hands. So Slim Robinson. Oh, that's a, that's a, keep those hands up. Do your thing. Now, a minute and a half, Angelo. Very, very important split in the half to decide, hey, who's the new heavyweight champion possibly? But I think Witherspoon has, has won this fight in my mind, but I'm not a judge. I keep saying it all the time. I would have to agree. The three judges from the United States, signed by the WBC, referee not counting in the scoring, but what a sensational job he has done. It matches the quality of this championship out. Mills Lane. Witherspoon with a minute to go. Now looking just a tad tired and who would No, no, be? he's looking for one shot. Yeah. He's making a mistake. He's looking for one big punch. And Holmes is looking for the same thing. Yes, he Look is. that right hand. It's caught right ready. Closing 30 seconds. Surprisingly, a back of the hand almost from Witherspoon to Larry Holmes. 42 wins, 30 by knockout. And here this 25-year-old upstart.
yards from Philadelphia. Larry, Larry's really, really out of it. He couldn't get his punches together while they were laying And Larry does a number on you when you're in close. It's about over. gentlemen a standing crowd showing their appreciation of the effort of two well-conditioned heavyweights over the scheduled 12 round distance Tim Witherspoon the reaction from giving it his all and Larry Holmes going around throwing kisses to the audience a very appreciative champion he won it here in Las Vegas in 1978 put it on the line for the 15th time tonight and the three judges, Chuck Hassett, Herb Santos, and Chuck Minker. It is now up to them. Yes, it is. They're the ones that got the final say with the pencil. And the ring very crowded. You really can't get a reaction from Larry Holmes in watching him, uh, how he feels about his performance. Now, a little bit dejected, perhaps. Larry Holmes, a true pro. He gave it 100%. I don't know how he came back and threw the shots. I mean, he really showed it. But you know, when you get up in age there, a lot of the little things you used to be able to do, you can't get through there. Like I told Muhammad after the fight, I said, Muhammad, it's not there anymore. Not there anymore. But what we have here is a replay of some more of the combination punches in that last round. This loves to go to that left. Cuffing him with the right, another left. And of course, this I is knew early on, I knew early on that he was revert to that southpaw style and it worked very effectively for him. I I just have to remember 1964, Clay and Liston. Well, let's see. Jimmy Lennon is ready. Here is the verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please in this title bout. We have a split decision. Chuck Hassett of California sees it 118, Larry Holmes to 111, Tim Witherspoon. Hassett voting for Larry Holmes. Herb Santos sees it 115 to 114 in favor of Tim Witherspoon. The deciding ballot cast by Chuck Minker, 115 Holmes, 113 Tim Witherspoon. Winner and still the heavyweight champion, Larry Holmes. Listen to this reaction from the huge crowd, a split decision. Retaining his title in his 15th defense, Larry Holmes. In the mind of Tim Witherspoon, he has to believe he won. Well, you, can't, you got a lot. Of, you got a lot of concrete evidence about that. Uh, I think this kind of a fight was a very controversial fight. Yes. And I always state I'm not a judge. All right. We're going to be back to talk to the winner here at the Dunes in Las Vegas. But first, let's take this pause after a great fight. Larry, he must have really given you a bad scare in terms of retaining the championship tonight. This kid fought awfully well against you. Oh, yeah. He didn't give me a bad scare, but he caught me with some good shots. And I knew he thought he had me. He hurt me a little bit, but I know where I was at all times. The guy's a good fighter, he's a strong fighter, and I see a lot of potential in this guy. He's going to go a long way. Did he give I, you more than you expected? Oh, yeah, he gave me more than I expected. He get, usually get tired four or five rounds, but this guy, he fought today, fought his heart out. He won the title. That's something I expected. I expect these guys to come out and fight hard, but I didn't expect a hard fight like I got tonight. Well, you fought everybody. You've taken on all comers, but lately you've taken on a couple of guys that weren't in Tim's class. Did that affect you? Did that hurt you? Well, probably it hurt me a little bit, but what the heck? I'm a champion. I give all fighters an opportunity, just like I gave Tim Witherspoon an opportunity. People say he didn't deserve it, but he's there. He got the shot, and we created a lot of interest, a lot of excitement. A lot of people don't agree with the decision, but like I went over to Tim. I said, you lost. He said, yeah, I know. So he's a good... 
so he's a, he's a good man. He, he yeah. lost, and uh, he accepted it. And uh, now, the, now with the crowd, kind of changes his mind about it. But uh, he uh, fought a good fight, and desire, he deserved a lot of credit. I want to talk to Tim in a moment, but the referee came over and told me after the fight he thought that Tim really hurt you in the ninth round, right over oh, here in this corner. He hurt me. He dazed me, but he didn't really hurt me. Uh, he knocked me off balance a few times, hit me with some good shots. But I was holding on. I wanted this guy to punch himself out because he got a tendency of fading early. But he fought good, and he had a little bit more. Like I said, and I thought he had. I have nothing to be ashamed of. I fought a good fight. I'm a champion. I won my title. I kept a title. This man gave a good fight. So that's all that really matters. Tell me, Larry, what your corner said to you going into the final round. They say all you have to do is stand up. They say you won all the rounds, and just keep fighting, keep boxing, point, piling up those points. You're ahead. And that's what I did. And you're still champion. Congratulations. 43 and well, Thank you very much. Thank the people around the world. Thank Tim Willisboom. Uh, what are you bringing, Tim? All right. Thank you, Larry. Okay. Tim, do you want to slide in here, please? Tim, you really did shock the world tonight and just came up short in terms of the victory. You said you were going to do it. A lot of guys at ringside think you did win it. Right. Uh, I think I won. I was positive through the whole fight. I heard him every round. And uh, I think uh, he got the decision because he has a big record, and uh, everybody respected him as a champ. But I, beat, I think I beat every round. I was blocking most of his jabs. He was thumbing. And that's, that's it. I feel like I won. I'm in good shape. I feel good. I'm not breathing hard. And it just totally robbed me, I'm, I'm sure. Did you think that you were going to take him out for a while there in the ninth right, round? Right, but uh, he, he came back. He was hurt in every round. But he's going to make excuses about he wasn't hurt and that, and that I, I agree with him that he won. I knew all the way that I won. I thought I won the whole fight. But, uh, Mike Weaver at ringside said he felt you won, definitely. Right, and, and not only him, the whole, the whole arena thought that I won. You know, in the whole world, I'm sure. When I go home, I feel good about the fight. I don't feel that I lost. That's why I'm not proud of him. I'm smiling. And that's all to it. I want a rematch. I thought he was more than what he was, and he's really not. And I want a rematch so I can knock him out. You think you'll get one? I don't know. I think he won't give me one. I think he's going to retire. But I'm, I'm going to be the champ eventually. I'm not, I'm not ashamed. And I know the people back home is not ashamed of me or all over the world. All over the world. You know world. what? You're right. I think you are going to be the champion right. very soon. Right. And this, this here is a warm-up fight for me. For the, for the future champ, I'm going to be the next heavyweight champ in the world because can't nobody stop me. Uh, all right, Tim. I'm, I'm totally happy. I'm not ashamed because I felt as though I won it. Well, many at ringside thought you did. A tremendous effort. Congratulations, Tim. All right, thank you very much. All right, good luck in the future. And this man, indeed, is a tremendous future. Tim Witherspoon, who came very close to dethroning Larry Holmes tonight. Now let's go back to Chris. Well, a confident, defeated contender in his 16th bout. And no doubt down the road, uh, Angelo Dundee, his future is bright. And um, what did you think of the decision? Well, you know, you're not a judge. You're looking at it, uh, maybe you root a little bit. You like what the guy's doing in there. But I thought it was a heck of a fight. I thought Larry fought a great fight coming back like it did. I thought he was out of it. I thought Tim Wismo was going to knock him out that round. And that was a big round for him. Uh, I'm never going to be a judge, but I felt it was a great fight, and I think Tim Witherspoon deserves a shot. Hey, and I can see in the future, Tim Witherspoon, maybe Weaver. Of course. And how would you like to see one of the greatest rounds we've ever seen in a world heavyweight championship bout? Let's go back to that ninth round of this 12-rounder it was. Well, Angelo, uh, one hardly knows what to say because in many of the sports we cover, we have subjective judging, whether it's figure skating, whether it's gymnastics, and here in boxing, and you know, uh, what makes a boxing match and a horse race is a difference of opinion. So we had that in the decision of the Holmes-Witherspoon fight, a split decision. Chris, before you and I were born, they say it's in the eyes of the beholder. Yes. And the, when the air is human. Those guys are looking it through their eyes, and you're looking it through your eyes. So we can't prejudge people. They saw it that way, and they're good judges. They've been judging all over for a long time. They got good experience. I'd like to repeat the scoring. Chuck Hassett of California, 118 to 111 for Holmes, Herb Santos of Reno, 115 to 114 for Witherspoon, and then uh, Chuck Menker of Las Vegas, 115 to 113 um, for the eventual winner, defending uh, his title for the 15th time successfully, Larry Holmes. Angelo, great to be wor uh, working with you, and thanks again, and uh, thank goes to my colleague Don Chevrolet and our motion picture star, Lou Gossett, uh, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, the WBA lightweight champion of the world and of course 
pretty eyes, our ringside celebrity reporter, Leandra Riley. So we've had two great bouts, two questionable decisions. Dokes defeating Weaver. Holmes coming on to keep his title against Witherspoon. Good night. The Crown Affair has been brought to you by Budweiser, proud sponsor of Golden Gloves, the USA Amateur Boxing Federation, and the U.S. Boxing Team. For all you do, this Bud's for you.